Yeah, it's your boy Billy the Kid, and you're watching Jiggy Jag TV. The Nino, stop hanging up mula, mother. Ah! Very black, and I am a watercolorist from Hutchison, Kansas. I've painted all of my life. I've had phenomenal teachers in my life, starting with my mother, who's a great artist, and my aunt, who's a great artist as well. And it is truly like breathing for me. I love to paint. <laughs> now tell us about some of your work here. This is called Under the Vine, and I actually started this the week my grandmother died, and so it's very, very special to me. Um, I love color, so I like rich color. This is called The Last Tear, and I painted this when I was just a little melancholy. It was a cold, cold day, and uh, that's kind of what went from my head to my, from my heart to, to the paper. <laughs> I have a thing for poppies, as you can see. So, and, I, and I've always loved faces and trees, and my sister is a bright girl. This was painted for her. And so I pulled some prints on that, and that's here today. We have family homes at the Lake of the Ozarks, and one winter I was sitting there, and this is the tree out of the dining room window that goes out over the lake. Yes. And so I call it bird's eye view, but that's what you see looking out the dining room window at our lake house. That's cool. This is Eliza. She didn't start out that way, but then she looked like Eliza Doolittle off of... <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that's how she, she started out. And moons, obviously. I love moons. Um, I call this Moonberries. So, and that's a painting I did for my father as a benefit auction for the Shrine Museum. Oh, well that's cool. Um, this, her name is Hattie. My grandma always had a hat with a pin on it. <laughs> So, and again, the trees, the trees, the trees. So, now, is, when when you when you sit down and, and put a piece together, like for instance, this here, what was the inspiration? What was the whole thought process from beginning to end? On this piece, yeah, this was actually my friend who was over here, and she wanted something large for her wall, and so I sat down and I started drawing, and this is actually painted with with. Um, instant coffee wow. with watercolors. Instead of instead of using water, what I did was take instant coffee in different strengths and and mixed it with the paint to get this effect. And then this is copper leaf. <laughs> so this was an experiment. Yeah. And this is what I came up with. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, how often do you put a piece together? Are you always? I paint every day. That's cool. Yeah, I paint almost every day of my life. That's yeah. cool. Now, how long does it take you to typically finish this paint, a piece? This painting was three weeks. Wow. So this one here, I did in about two days. So I did this one, but I painted on it all day. I was at the lake house. Yeah. This is my daughter. And That's cool. We, I call it poppy fields and fireflies. And since she was little itty bitty, we have a like a butterfly house, and we've always go and catch the fireflies. And so this is my daughter Abby. That's cool. Now, which one of these pieces up here took you the longest? To create. This one down here. Uh, she does. She does. She does. <laughs> you have some amazing, amazing stuff, by the way. Thank you. This painting. This took you the longest. Why did this take you the longest? Well, because there's several processes. If you can see the swirls in here and around the leaves, that was done with masking fluid. All of this in here, and then I painted over it with coffee, and then I painted it with watercolor and then I lifted the mask it, then I went back over it to fill in, and then I washed it, I glazed it. So this was Amazing. a several week process. This one took me long. Yeah. Well, that is pretty cool. Now, how can people get some more information on you? Do you have a website I or do, www.jkblackartstudios.com. I sell on Etsy. Or I own Curves locally here in town, oh, okay. and, and they can always get a hold of me there. Well, that's cool. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for doing this, and thanks uh, for, for uh, partaking in Third Thursday. Well, thank you so much. From Fred Phelps to the Kinsey Six, from Glenn Miller to Two Live Crew, and everyone in between, we do them all. We are KJAG Radio and Jiggy Jag TV.
Michael, Michael Fowler. Now, uh, tell us about your art up here, my friend. Uh, you got some interesting pieces up here. Take us through, uh, take us through each piece here. Okay, uh, I did these three when I did a study with my my dad. We did like five months of straight painting. And, um, this one the name is Extreme Limits. Uh, this one is just a scene from Lake Wilson, and that one's uh, Westcliff from Westcliff, Colorado. Now tell us about this uh, Extreme Limits here. How, what was the inspiration behind this? I really love the, the photograph of this. When, uh, when I was doing biking and stuff in Colorado, we, uh, we had dirt jumps we went to regularly. And, I don't know, we just we got a good, good shot out of it. Now, uh, how long did it take you to complete this? Um, this one actually happened in like three days. Like, uh, happened in, I don't know, I just, I painted it wet, which I don't normally do, but <laughs> yeah. it was so fun to paint, you know, I got it done quick. So. Well, that's cool. Now, uh, tell us about this piece over here. This, uh, uh this is a beautiful, beautiful it, piece it is, of art pretty good. Um, I, I had a series of photographs from Lake Wilson where, uh, I don't, I don't know, I just I had a really awesome drive through there and took a lot of good photographs, so this is one of them that I picked from. So. Now, what was the hardest part about this piece, getting this put together? Uh, this one actually happened pretty quick, too. <laughs> like, I have, I have a lot that I've done, but uh, these, these two are quick that I've done, so... I don't know. Um, I, I quit a job that I hated after doing it for so long, and <laughs> this is one of the things I did when I quit, so... Well, that's cool. Well, tell us about this uh, this other piece over here. Uh, West Coast got a lot of good memories there. Uh, this is actually me riding my bike and um, having this happen and being able to paint it was was pretty fun. For me, so. Yeah, I was I was riding in front of these are like donkey slash horses or whatever. So I, I think they're mules or something. Like that. Yeah. But we, I wasn't supposed to be riding in front of them, but I did it really just you know just for shit. <laughs> And giggles and I had fun though. Well, that's good stuff. Now, uh, tell us about uh, where do you derive your, your inspiration when you sit down and create a piece? Um, I don't know. I was pretty much with these, I uh, was working on the discipline of art. So, I mean, yeah. I just kind of wanted to get better at it. That's where those came from. So. Cool stuff. Well, beautiful stuff, my man. Good yeah. stuff. Uh, appreciate you doing this, man. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Nice.